How's it going guys, Chris here with another Battlefield 5 gun guide for you today, and in this one we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the POA carbine, a recon class pistol carbine introduced in Tides of War Chapter 3. With the rise of semi-automatic pistol design at the end of the 1800s, the iconic P08 Luger pistol was born, one of Germany's most recognisable firearms. It wasn't all that long after though when weapon designers started to try and advance their pistols and try to turn them into something more than just a sidearm. This sparked the idea of pistol carbines to extend their ranges and make them more viable as fully fledged weapons, which is where the artillery Luger comes into the scene, essentially being a variation of the standard P08 pistol but with a longer 8 inch barrel, wooden shoulder stock and rear tangent sight, made compatible with the same 32 round snail drum magazines that the MP18 submachine gun used. These artillery Lugas were used throughout the First World War, mainly by vehicle crews, field artillery units and aviation troops. Basically soldiers who needed a personal defence weapon but didn't quite need something like a rifle, which would have been unsuitable for their role. Elite shock troop units also used these guns too, for advancing on enemy trenches. Though with the newly developed MP18 SMG proving to be more effective here, the artillery Lugas sort of became redundant, halting further production. Though this production did resume a few years after the war, mainly for export with even longer barrels, but the artillery Luger would live on to fight again in the Second World War, albeit in limited numbers with the German Army and SS units, many of which would have been left in storage since 1918. Anyway, looking at all the stats next in Battlefield 5, the P08 carbine deals a maximum damage of 36 up to the range of 10 meters, which then quite sharply drops off declining over distance at a pretty quick rate up to 50 meters, where it's going to deal 20 damage, but then becoming more gradual from here, eventually stopping at the 150 meter mark where bullets are going to deal the minimum damage of 15. So basically it can take anywhere between 3 to 7 shots to put another player down depending on distance, which is actually less than the other pistol carbine in the game, the C96 Trench, with the P08 being able to retain a slightly higher damage output beyond 50 meters essentially letting it kill in less bullets over longer ranges, mainly beyond 75 meters. With the gun only having the fire rate of 360 RPM, the same as the C96 Trench, this gives it better kill times in comparison against players further away, but not particularly brilliant kill times overall, down to that rate of fire being on the slower side compared to a lot of the other weapons in the game, putting more pressure on you to land shots on target. Slapping your opponent in the face with those bullets is therefore highly advisable, with headshots doubling the damage and reducing the shots needed to take them out, which can be especially useful over longer distances, where quite a few of them will be needed to get the job done. With the P08 carbine having no horizontal recoil, and with its precision mainly being determined by the upwards kick value, the gun functions in a similar way to semi-auto rifles in the assault class, with stability being the main aspect. In this case, the weapon's got the vertical value of 0.85 with an increased value of 0.05, actually giving it a fairly similar recoil pattern to the M1 Garand, with recoil stacking up just a little bit more when spamming the fire quickly, due to that increased value being a tad higher. This is slightly more recoil than the gun's C96 carbine counterpart, though not all that much in the grand scheme of things, still being fairly easy to control, even when firing at the gun's maximum rate. With that said, because it does have that increased value, spamming shots over longer ranges can often lead to recoil stacking up more than you'll probably find comfortable, so it can sometimes be best to stop firing to let that recoil reset if it starts to get a bit awkward to manage. Bullet speed is a bit faster than the C96 trench carbines, clocking in at 420 meters per second, but still it's not all that fantastic in the wider picture, especially when you compare it to the semi-auto rifles, many of which have almost double that muzzle velocity and are going to feel easier to use against moving targets further away, not having to shoot as far in front of them as they're running around. Though one of the P08 carbine's stronger factors that gives it a pretty big advantage over those semi-auto rifles is that 33 round ammo capacity, holding 32 shots in those snail drum mags and an extra one in the chamber for good measure. This gives you plenty of ammunition to run riot with and also allows the gun's fire to be more spammable, with missed shots being less problematic against unaware enemies, due to loads more being available to follow them up. You'll be able to take on multiple enemies one after the other, and it might not hold quite as many rounds as the C96 Trench, but there's still usually always going to be enough here to get you through most situations in one piece. With that said, quite a lot of these bullets will be needed to kill over range, and because several shots are likely to miss due to the gun's lower bullet speed and spam fire nature, 
that ammo can sometimes be depleted faster than you'd think. If you get too carried away, then an empty mag swap can take 4 seconds, which is actually fairly slow compared to a lot of the other weapons in the game, though reloading with bullets left over is only going to take 2.53 seconds, which isn't really too bad considering those magazines contain so much ammo, only being slightly slower than the STG-44, though if you do have the habit of reloading after every kill or so, then the quick reload spec is going to come in pretty handy for you. Taking a look at the specialisations next, at the top of the pile we've got quick aim and slings and swivels, either speeding up aim down sights or reducing the gun's deployment time. You can't really go wrong with either of these two, both being useful in their own ways, though I tend to opt for quick aim, just to get down those sights a tad quicker, working pretty well when you've got a scope attached, to start aiming and shooting slightly faster. Further down the tree you'll be able to find enhanced grips and polished action on the left side, both of which are going to impact hip fire and make spread a lot tighter. Though the other side is more geared up for improving ADS instead, by lowering spread while aiming and moving with the custom stock, while increasing the movement speed too with lightened stock. Because the PO8 carbine can be effective over a variety of distances, more particularly the mid ranges, I like to optimise those aim down sight stats rather than focusing on hip fire ones with this gun specifically, which can be really useful when you need to strafe around to get on target and account for that lower bullet speed. And at the bottom of the list, you'll be able to find the quick reload spec on the left, along with barrel bedding on the right, reducing reload times or lowering spread while stationary. Reloads never really become an issue for me personally, down to the gun holding so much ammo, so barrel bedding seems like the more viable choice here, to help with the weapon's precision. In conclusion, the PO8 carbine is essentially a more well-rounded weapon for the recon class, usable over a wider range span be it within shorter sightlines or over longer distances. It's not really well optimised for either of these ranges however, often being outclassed by other guns here that can cover their roles better, but it can still perform adequately nevertheless, having decent damage figures and manageable recoil. The PO8 slower than average fire rate can often translate to poorer kill times, especially over longer ranges with more bullets needed to kill, and with more of them likely to stray off target due to that low muzzle velocity, sometimes making moving players quite tricky to hit. You'll often find yourself struggling to compete against some of the quicker shooting weapons in close quarters as well, so with all this in mind, the PO8 carbine generally fares a tad better when there's a little bit of distance between you and the other guy, being best suited to those medium ranges most of the time. More shots will be required to kill here, but you'll have plenty of them at your disposal, with the PO8 carbine holding quite a lot of ammo per magazine, and having reloads that shouldn't really give you any issues. You'll have to spam shots out quickly while trying to stay on target if you want to take on certain enemies in a gunfight, and it's not always easy to stay locked onto a target while you do. Though the large mag size, steady semi-auto fire rate and controllable recoil still makes the gun very reliable and versatile to haul, being useful over most distances. That's it for another one folks, hope you enjoyed the video, give me a like if you did, and subscribe for loads more battlefield guides just like this one right here on my channel. Take it easy! And I'll be seeing you in that next one.